Go ahead and start, Michael. Marquis, how key was it to get uh, defensive stops in the first five minutes of the second half? Uh, it was it was very important because we know the first five minutes, you know, are important. And you know, I told my guys we can't we can't come out like today's a cool. We gotta come out with energy. So and that's what we did. Was there better defensive intensity for throughout the second half? It was a better defensive, you know, game. You know, the whole game I feel like we played really good, you know, on the defensive side, you know, keying into certain guys and rebounding. Even though they, they got a lot of offensive rebounds, we won the uh, rebound and battle by two. So you know, credit my guys who who was down there battling with Oceani and you know the rest of the guys. So, Gante, what are you seeing def uh, offensively as far as what teams are throwing at you, and what kind of objectives are you trying to get possession for, to possession? Um, a lot of teams now is loading up when I try to drive, and they bring in two on me, so it's, it's leaving the opposite side of the court open, which I was trying to throw it today. Just um, trusting my teammates to knock down the shots and. Just trying to take what the defense gave me. Really. Marquise does he gets his first start of the season today. That seemed to help create a little bit more space for you on the offensive end. Can you just kind of explain what him being in the lineup helped you do today? Uh, he brings energy. He's been bringing energy since day one, um, whether he was on the bench or now he's starting. So, you know, you get the same Desi. He's going to come in, play hard, you know, play like it's his last game. And today he gave us more space. Um, he gave us more driving lanes because he was out there. And, you know, he played well. You know, that, that block was a big block. So, you know, credit him to that. That was a game changer play. So. You scored 18 points in the second half. I think that probably helped you get off the night a little bit with some of the struggles you've had scoring lately. Um, can you just explain what you were able to do to find success there in the second half? I just wanted to win. I wanted to do anything possible to win today. So that was my mindset. And, you know, that, that was it. I wanted to win. So Fair to kind of say you guys just needed something to go right because what's it you got a few shots to fall in the second half it kind of snowballed and everyone got going really yeah definitely uh once we, we we started rolling you know the crowd got involved you can't thank our fans enough for you know their love and support and their energy you know when we go on runs like that it really matters and it really helped so credit our fans and credit you know you know iowa state because they play well too um you know, but we was the better team. So, Ish, was today kind of a product of the evolution of your game? You, your shot's not falling as much as it usually does, but you contribute in a lot of other ways that don't show up on the stat sheet. I mean, you know, when I'm coming in the game, I, uh, after sitting down, you know, you watch, you see what the game's missing and stuff like that. And, you know, whether it's making shots and, and not, or not making shots like I was today, I just tried to do whatever it took to uh, help my team win and, and make, these job, make the guys <coughs> uh, here jobs easier. So whatever that was, I'll just try to do. I mean, yeah, it was a must win, definitely. I mean, we're coming off of two, two L's on the road. Um, we didn't want to lose at home in front of our amazing fans, you know, and we played with that sense of urgency, but, but that energy too. Um, we didn't get too high when things went well. We didn't get too low when they were up. We just, you know, kind of stood poised through it all and, you know, came out victorious. Staying poised through, through the adversity, through the loss, what's been the biggest factor in this team being able to do that? Um, just staying together. I feel like whenever we stay together, whenever we locked in and, you know, are intentional about the things that we're doing, you know, we are really, we pretty a good team. So, you know, we just, we just still locked in, you know. What was the message? Uh, rebound. Just rebound. Just do the little things, you know, rebound. Because that was killing us in the first half. They had like seven points you know, off of offensive rebounding and second chance points. So we try to, you know, focus on that during the second half and we did. Jaron Holmes had 23 when you guys played in, at Ames. Yeah. He had only five tonight. What, what was kind of the biggest key in and then slowing him down? Uh, we wanted to pressure the ball going into this game. We wanted to high keep them, keep them on the side so they couldn't, you know, swing the ball around freely. And, you know, it worked in our favor. We turned them over a couple times, and we made big time plays. So that that's what you know our game plan was. What was uh, Coach Tang's you know uh, message been like the last couple weeks after two tough losses, and was that a key in uh, getting off the Schneid? 
I mean, you know, uh, in this league, is, and, and in general, college basketball, it's hard to win on the road, and it's hard just to win high, a high-level games, especially in this league. So, you know, it's, it's a matter of just getting back to what we uh, were doing in the beginning, being successful, and that's play, uh, playing freely, having fun, being with each other, and just trying to go one and one no matter what it is, and just trying to win the day, not focus on, you know, where this game is going to take us in terms of positioning the league, just trying to win each and every game, each and every possession. So that's just what the focus was. Protecting home court, was that one of the messages too going into this one again? Of course, it, it always is. It's always emphasis. You know, we have great fans that try and uh, come out and support, so the least we could do is do our job and try and get wins at home. Yeah, I think after the last game, uh, Coach Tang talked about forget about the league race, but you guys still have work to do just to to make the NCAA tournament. Is that something, a message you kind of shared with you too, that maybe sort of focus on, on um, the short-term yeah. goals here too? Yeah, he told, I mean, he told us not to get complacent and just think that we already made the tournament. Like, we still have to win a lot of games coming up. So our main focus, I mean, we came off of two L's, the big one to start our win streak back up is win at home. And I feel like we took care of business today. And now our next focus is coming in tomorrow and practice and just um, get ready for our next road game against Oklahoma State. Baylor at home. Baylor. Oh, we play Baylor at home? Oh, yeah, Baylor at home, so. Ish there at halftime, you guys have your back against the wall. What, what were the emotions like in there when you guys knew you had to respond? Uh, I mean, you know, uh, it's never good to be down at halftime, especially at home. But, you know, it's, that's why it's two halves. That first half, we had to take what we could and learn from it. And we felt like we were playing good defense, but they were having too many points in the paint. And they're getting second chance opportunities. And, you know, uh, Keese, actually credit to Keese, he kind of, he challenged us, some of uh, the big guys and stuff like that, and just said, you know, we got to do a better job rebounding and do our job. Everyone got to do their job and not worried about doing uh, other people's job. And, you know, if everyone locks in on that on this team, I feel like uh, the sky's the limit. So that's just what we tried to do. And Keontae, now that you're seeing these teams for the second time in Big 12 play, do you notice teams defending you differently and trying to th take special things away from your game? Um, yeah, I mean, I've been watching a lot of film lately, just seeing how when I catch the ball, the defense load up to the side and it's just a focus. So it's just more of me making the right reads and just not trying to force up tough shots, just trying to get my teammates involved. And I feel like when I get my teammates involved and they hitting shots, they get their confidence and it helps me open up my offensive game too. Anything else for these guys? Glory be to God, man. Thanks, Appreciate guys. you. Great job.